Oh my god, look at Levi, bro. Ooh. I need I need a second, one second. Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy uh, Jam, and we're back at it again today. Attack on Titan episode 15. I think this is the second last one. 15, right? Yeah. Um last week's episode fucking wild. I had to split up my reaction just because I had an emergency, but uh same effect. Uh Aaron snapped, Armin snapped, Mikasa snapped. Flock snapped. Who else snapped? Levi snapped. I feel like the Beast Titan is about to snap. I feel like he's just about to toss his neck back, yo. He's about to blow up. He's about to blow up that that little cart him and Levi in or, are in or something. I feel like today we're getting um, Beast Titan's backstory or s at least some information regarding that. Um, I took some time. Let me see if I can actually show you guys. So yeah, I took some time. Um, in between episodes and I pulled this up you guys remember this uh, I don't know if I could show all of this just for the sake of but here does that guy not look like the guy that taught the Beast Titan to I guess throw that ball bit I guess about baseball and then they show him again remember this shit guys here I always wondered who the hell is the third guy? You're talking about grandparents, right? We've never, I don't think we met, um, we never met, what was her name? Dinah's parents. So I kind of figured, is that her dad, I guess? But he would have to be connected to the royal family back onto the on the islands. We need to also know more about Dinah, fuck, but whatever. Who's this? He also has glasses dark hair you know i i feel like they always showed us this shot because this is one of those moments where we're gonna go back to it we definitely know for a fact those are grisha's parents there but who's this guy so yeah i think uh we're gonna get some backstory hopefully find out about this mysterious person i have seen them before i always recognize this person has glasses and dark hair Glasses and dark hair. Why do you keep showing me this person? And now we're seeing that person. I hope I hope that's the same guy again. You guys let me know what you think about that. I don't know. We're going to see. Um, so Beast Titan backstory and um, we'll see what else happens, man. I don't know. This shit's just getting crazy, man. As well, just the shit just gets crazier every fucking episode. It's hard to like say which episode's the best at this point, you know? All right, starting in three, two, one. Okay, yeah. Oh, nice. Okay, we're getting Grisha. Nice. Kind of looks like he does he, you know? Oh, here we go. With the hate, bruh. What a fucking ass. Jeez, man. Damn. So Grisha was like really putting this shit on him, man. We never got to see that side of things. I guess that's why Zeke's like, bro, I was brainwashed. Or Aaron, you were brainwashed. You've been brainwashed by your dad. Maybe because he feels like or he thinks that it might have been the same type of thing. But from what we've seen, Aaron and Grisha's relationship was more. I don't know. Aaron kind of just fell into this role. 
rather than it being told to him like this, you know? Grisha really must have learned from his past mistakes, you know? I wonder if he, in his mind, when he got the Attack Titan, if he was like, I got to handle this. He thought he was the one that was going to change it because he already messed up with one kid, you know? I wonder. Or if he really thought that he would give it to Aaron and he'd finish the job. Or if Aaron was just a plan B. I wonder. He clearly ran out of time, you know. And that's why he had to uh, give Aaron the, the power. I wonder. I wonder. Seventy four. <clears throat> okay, yeah. So we're gonna be setting back there. Alright, great. Let's get it. Huh, Magus. Oh, so you were the Beast Titan before. Mm, see how they do that shit, man? I think they're the same guy. I'm pretty sure they're the same guy. He has on the lab coat, too. Yeah, boy. Hmm. Hmm. And now he's also learning this. This is crazy. Mm. No, nah, he doesn't. He doesn't. <clears throat> Damn, we just, I forgot about his sister, bro. Or technically Zeke's aunt, Grisha's sister. Hey, look at young Magath, yeah. Not what he's trying to do. Hmm. Hmm.
Here we go. Ooh, and he plays the role of a father. That's why he turned Grisha and his mom in. He, they didn't, he didn't look at them as parents. Oh, uh, he looks so much like Falco, bro. That's crazy how they just give us that glimpse. Jeez, man. Jesus. 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 See that? Jesus. Jeez, Grisha. Huh. He's never hurts. Yeah. <laughs> mm. so they didn't really use his titan in battle before until Zeke came up with the whole baseball thing jeez man this is interesting oh So he turned them in on purpose because he was like.
Jeez. Jeez. Grisha was really laying it into this kid, bro. Feel bad, yo. Damn, they're making me feel sympathy. Oh, whew, but that's the same shot, right? Fuck. <laughs> oh, that's fucked, dude. Oh, uh, he told him to do it. Then they'll pick you as the Titan. That's the shot, just from the other, uh, okay, I was right, okay. Shit. Gang. Oh. That's crazy. That's fucked. That's his plan. Ooh. Ooh, if only ah. Oh. This music. Oh. 
This is the pain. Father. Look at these guys. Oh, okay. So this is when they got back. I guess Yamir would be with them at this point. Or maybe she already headed back. And is now missing. Yep. She's she's <sighs> Jesus. Hmm. 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 She. Bro. That fucking baseball. I knew it. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we're back in the cart. Oh. Chill, Levi. <laughs> Oh, see, he twisted that fucking neck. I knew it. And Levi's so close. Oh, my 
god, look at Levi, bro. Oh my fucking god. Oh my god, I'm getting teary-eyed, bro. Holy shit. Ooh. Ooh. I need I need a second, one second. Holy I felt so much weight. So much weight on my chest and on my shoulders this episode, bro. So much fucking weight on me, bro. I feel ho <sighs> they actually made me feel bad for Zeke, bro. And I had I had all the hints. They gave me all the hints. I just didn't know the relationship between these two. So he was the old beast titan. That's crazy. <sighs> he was the old beast titan. Zeke never really had a father figure. I saw a father figure in um, Grisha. But he saw a father figure in that guy, with Mr. Kaz... Saver, Saver, Kasaver, Ksaver, Ksaver, something like that. <laughs> Saver. Um, bro, that was a really heavy episode, bro. I want I actually wanted to cry throughout that episode just because just hearing hearing about the things that Zeke had to go through, seeing Grisha be in such a hostile state you know it's like we've never seen grisha like that grisha was just always just laid back smart ass dad you know and there you could tell there was more to the guy but you just didn't know and this whole time i feel like we all kind of thought that with grisha it was oh yeah bro he was a titan bro he's trying to save the fucking world like just nobody took it in you know it was like a, just a low-key thing but you could see with his relationship with Zeke and his relationship with Aaron, just the difference in the type of person that he was. But Zeke is a bit younger, you know, this is new to him. He feels so much pressure to free his people that I don't even think it's on purpose. Like he's not, he's not trying, he's not trying to make Zeke feel like shit. He's not trying to not give him any attention. He's not trying to, you know, not have a good relationship with his own child. It's just that Grisha has this big weight to carry on his shoulder where he has the opportunity to actually change the world. And it might not be through him, It's but it's looking like it's going to be through his son. So he has to put pressure on him. And as wrong as that is to do to your kid, you can see how much he regrets it and changes it when he has Aaron. It's crazy, man. Just to see the growth in somebody like Grisha through only flashbacks, bro. And it's always the same plan. And this is, a, and this is the thing with... Um, the, some of the parallels between Aaron and Grisha. It's always been the same goal since episode one, bro. I'm going to destroy all the Titans. That's what Aaron was saying. Episode one or episode two. He's going to kill every single last Titan. And it's never, it's never changed. I've recognized that. He, he never lied to us. He's, it's the same path. He's going on the same path. We're just taking different routes towards the same goal. Grisha was always about freeing his people. So he tried to do it himself. Didn't really work. I have a kid with royal blood, so we're gonna try that. That didn't work. Shit. You have he has the opportunity now to become the attack titan. 
he's not able to finish off the mission in that time so he has to hand off the power to his hit to another kid but that's all just for the sake of eldia did i say eldians earlier or did i say Merlin? i don't know eldian so he's just trying to save all the eldians it's crazy how they just have the same goals and so much weird stuff could just happen in between but it's at the end of the day all this growth and the way you approach that plan can change but it's for the same reasons it's just crazy to think about dude but yeah, Zeke was fucked up, dude. He was, uh, he just wasn't happy. You could tell right at the beginning of the episode, you know, Grish is telling him about the uh, Liberio zone, Liberio zone. And you can see he's just like, he's like, yeah, <laughs> I understand. I get it. Cool. And that one guy at the beginning was a fucking asshole, bro. But that's what it is. That's hate. And you can see that hate is what fuels Grisha. Hate. You can see how much it fuels him in that moment because he gets that water dumped on him, him and his family, even though he has his past. Gets water dumped on him and his family, walking through the streets, they're calling him an LD and this talking shit about him and all he's doing is whispering to Zeke bro we see you see what the shit I'm fucking talking about bro we're gonna free our people you're gonna do it it's gonna be on you bro and he sees that as motivation for his kid or his kid to kind of just open their eyes to what's actually going on Wait, what he doesn't understand is that he's forcing an ideology the same way he kind of you know he learns this we, we know that he learns this over time but at this point, we're actually seeing the brainwashing and the forcing of this ideology and this way of thinking and this lifestyle that Zeke had kind of warned Aaron about, but Aaron actually never went through. It's just crazy, bro. Crazy, crazy. Um, Where do I go next? I can skip right to the end. Anything happened in between? No, not right. Nothing really happened in between. It was just story, story, story. Grisha, we got to see the, the other scouts a little bit. He and Zeke did his thing. Uh, oh, his plan, his plan. Uh, smart plan. I'm not gonna lie. If 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 Eldians can't have any more kids, then you could eradicate the world of Titans in about a hundred years. Not even. You could probably do it in less. Uh, so. Yeah, that's wild. That's a it's a it's a it's a it's a smart plan, but I feel like that sucks, dude. You're gonna end your people, and he's doing it for the sake of them not having to suffer through being in a world like this. You know, I don't know about that one. That's it makes sense, but it's a little wild. And I even skipped me even talking about just the reveal of. Uh, the founding, the founding Titan being able to change the Eldians, you know, and how their structure. That's very interesting. <laughs> interesting. I don't know, man. There's a lot going on this episode. Fucking seeing Levi's body fucking fly like that really sent me somewhere. I don't think he's dead. I don't think he's dead, but... That's the worst shape I've seen Levi in before. Like, I've never seen Levi get bodied like that. And that was the one thing I was worried about with him being so close to Zeke. And what if Zeke just sneezed even? Just like, Too! And his neck just, you know? Man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I felt a lot of weight this episode. A lot, a lot of weight. It was like watching, um, have you guys seen Prisoners? You know, the movie Prisoners? Hugh Jackman. <laughs> You know, if you've seen that movie, you know what I mean. You just feel weight on you. You feel sad. You feel pressure. You just feel like you, the whole time you're just like almost cringing. You're like, what's going to happen? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I don't know what to say, man. I'm just lost for words right now. This show is fucking amazing. Last episode I thought was amazing. I thought it was going to be fuck 
We've had a couple of fire episodes of just back. This whole season's been fire back to back to back to back. Whatever, man. You know what to fucking do, man. I don't even have my links up here on the fucking screen. Let me just toss it to the socials for you guys. Here you go. Hit me up. Instagram, uh, Twitter. Like, subscribe if you haven't already. And comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought about the uh, episode. Let me know what you thought about some of my theories or some of the shit I was saying or, you know, just some of my analysis. Um, I'd love to hear it. And, uh, crap, dude. We're, we're, uh, Next week is the last episode, technically, I believe, right? Technically, until we get our part two or our movie or something. Which I'm, but I'm thinking it's going to be a part two. Oh, God. All right, guys. Later, man.